Okay, a decent enough. Hi, um, I'm Joseph and this is Simone. And Hi. We're, we're, we're going to do our, our review of BBC's Little Dorrit from, I think it was 2008. Um, I guess we, we could start off with saying the positive things we liked about it. It was very pretty. Yeah, I think for me that was the thing that stood out the most. The photography mm -hmm. was, I think it was probably the best in terms of all of the uh, BBC dramas that I've seen, period, BBC period piece dramas, mm -hmm. with the exception of maybe like the newest War and Peace, I think is a little bit better. But visually, it was amazing. Um, I think the characters of Little Dorrit, and I think, the, what, what was the main guy? His name was George. Uh, I forgot his name. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> like, <laughs> like the, both of the actors that played those characters did a great job, and their characters were really likable. There was, um, yeah, just in general, they, you wanted to root for them. Mm -hmm. um, I think, honestly, I think it's about all the positive things that I have to say about the series. Um, the, the biggest problems, I think, were um, the ending. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, of course, but like I, I thought it was just a little bit of a kind of a silly ending where everything was solved in a, a very short period of time. It seemed like a quick solution. Yeah. And then even when the series was going, I knew that there was problems developing, and I, I wasn't really even sure what the problems were that were developing. I, there's this big secret about the watch. Do you remember that? Like there's yeah, like the yeah, watch, yeah. and then they, they wanted to know what the watch meant or something. <laughs> but, and, and so that kept me going. I wanted to keep watching to see what the secret was, but it was kind of like, um, Maybe it was the lost effect, you know, like the series lost, like where it keeps you going, but then you, by the time you're at the end, the you ending is so... You want to get so many more questions instead of actually getting answers. Yeah, well, that's, that was with, with lost. This one, I was just really confused by the ending. I imagine like in the original book by Charles Dickens, it was probably a more smooth ending, mm -hmm. but I was super confused and um, I, I just wasn't satisfied by the ending. It, it was, it was no. like it kept me going, N not even it didn't keep me as excited as I wanted it to be, but it kept me going. And then I finally at the end, I, I, I was like, okay, so I, I'm glad I finished the series. That's kind of how I felt. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm done with that series. I, I don't ever have to see that again. I, I, I didn't like how, except for the two main characters, everyone was kind of. They're not very likable. They and they were all like a joke too. Mm -hmm. I mean. I understand, like, the bad guy. Well, I know, actually, there's sometimes there's bad guys that are likable, and you actually you think they're... Their side. You understand their side, and, you, you know, you think with a writer like Charles Dickens, he probably wrote really complex characters. Mm -hmm. And then I... I never read Little Dorrit, so I can't really say, like, how accurate is it to the novel, or, um, you know, like, how well did Charles Dickens drop the characters in the, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But I do know that in this, it's like... Everybody's like a caricature, you know, like everybody's like kind of like a joke version or an extreme version of yeah. the type of character they're trying to represent, you know, mm -hmm. and there's some like there's like that one remember that girl that was wearing pink all the time and yeah, she was she like was sort of and she was just she, I mean she was I think she was it meant to be a humorous character. She was supposed to be like funny. Yeah, but she was just she to me just seems stupid. Yeah, she was annoying. It, it wasn't like, oh, you know, she's annoying, but like, you know, you love her even though she's annoying. And it, there was no likable characters at all besides mm -hmm. the two main characters, as I already mentioned, you know. So that I think another negative, I don't need to be going on and on about <laughs> negatives, is um, each part of the series was 30 minutes long, which I think was a bit too short. It'd be, it might have been nicer... I mean, even if it was one hour segments, it still would have been not that great. But um, <laughs> at least if it was hour segments long or two hour segments, like like with most BBC dramas, you know, it's usually a, a big chunk. Then you can at least feel like okay, I'm 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 a bit more invested. I I want to keep going. But it was just kind of like quick snapshots, and it was over with real quick. So mm -hmm. I couldn't really get into it so much. So anyways, that's my, that's my, what would you say, overall thumbs up or thumbs down? I definitely don't feel like watching it again. Um, it was very pretty, but it was also not very likable. I'm going to give it thumbs down. Thumbs down, okay. <laughs> the harsh judge of Simone. Um, yeah, uh, 
I'm actually was I was really excited of, about looking at the series and, and checking it out because I saw great reviews about it online. I saw on IMDb it got an eight point three on the meter, so I had really high expectations. When I saw it, I was I was really disappointed. I mean, <laughs> I finished it because I wanted to finish it. I was like, I need to finish this. But once it was over, um, mm -hmm. I just. I didn't feel like I wanted to see it again. I, I, I even while I was watching the series, I, I wasn't like I gotta see the next episode. I gotta see the next episode. Maybe the maybe, I mean, there were some it times was, where I was like we were like that. We were like let's it put was, another. It was more like questions like oh what, what like what what's the purpose behind this little thing or what's gonna happen with that? Yeah. But then again, you feel like you, it's just dragging on before you actually get an answer to your question. And when you get an answer, it's kind of like okay. Yeah. So. I guess it's like like I said, it's like the lost thing. You you mm -hmm. want to keep watching because you want to see if there's going to be an answer to your question, but you never actually do get an answer to your question. Anyways, so I'm I'm actually going to also going to give this a thumbs down. <laughs> you know, like I, I mean, just just uh, I uh, you know I, I hate it when people are just just go and take somebody's work of art that they there's obviously a lot of careful work to it and just pan it because I I could never make something like it myself, mm -hmm. but. That being said, if we're comparing this to other BBC dramas or BBC miniseries, mm -hmm. the, 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 the plain fact is that it's just not as good. And I didn't enjoy this anywhere near as, mu as, mu as much as a, some other yeah. series that I've seen. So. I, guess, I guess if you compare it to other BBC dramas, and yes, it is very, very different. And it's probably not that great. But if you compare it to that setting by itself as a piece of work, of, uh, as a piece of art, I should say, then you do have something that is very good because it is very unique. Yeah. It depends on how you look at it. I think they, they, they probably, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it depends it, it on how, of, it's everything's like, like... It's kind of like an artist going crazy. Yeah. Well, you know what I think it was? I think like the director put so much emphasis on making everything look amazing mm -hmm. and they succeeded. They mm -hmm. completely succeeded in making everything look amazing. It's like every single scene is a, is a, is a picture, is a frame with a picture. Yeah. It's the the cinematography was mm -hmm. excellent, yes, but they put so much emphasis on that, and then they kind of neglected everything else. They, I think they wanted to just maybe the director wanted to have something that looked really really pretty, or have a vehicle to be able to show their cinematographic talents, and they did that. They succeeded at the cost of sacrificing a lot of other elements. So, mm -hmm. but anyways, I, I think that's that's basically the the general mm -hmm. review. So. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, check out our next review.